welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today for this tutorial so today I'm going to be showing you how I decoupage this um, giant peg that I picked up from Poundland in the cell it was 25p I'm going to show you how we went from this this is the original item to this and so I promised you that I would be showing you these scrapbook paper books that I picked up from the works and so I'm going to be using these today. I'm leaning towards the vintage one only because this is coloured blue. This one incidentally is from this paper pad called Silky Roses and if I should have another page left I think. No. Oh, I don't, oh lovely so I've taken this sheet here and created this peg, this design, really simply going to show you how we do that. So I showed these in my haul so if you haven't seen that video please go and watch that. The papers from the works are really good quality, really easy to work with and we're going to show you now. So as I said I think I'm going to go with the Vintage Love and this is so simple it can be used for so many different projects you just go for it basically in terms of that would be quite pretty as well um yeah in terms of what you want to achieve the look you want what you're going for etc etc that one's quite nice i might do this one yeah let's go for this one I'm going to remove our label. I hope everyone is well. I am literally doing this before I have to go and get my son from nursery. So I hope it's not too fast for you guys. So I think that this is nice. So this one, um, I don't know if you can tell now because of how abstract the print was this is why I chose to do it this way but I don't know if it will be able to pick up can you see I've basically cut the paper into strips into segments I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's quite um it's like a geometric design you can choose to some people tear the paper so if I tear it now what you then get is like the white you know shared kind of pieces if you cut the paper you will have that perfect straight edge and so when decoupaging you won't you'll see the edges if that makes sense but it won't be it will be different when you do it should I do it the teared way I think I'll tear it today because this one was sharp edge so all you do obviously this is a smaller item so we need you don't need smaller bits but to be able to get into areas like this you need to have it quite small so I'm just going to do that literally tear okay leave that bit for there for now so in my little pot head and if you can see I have my Mod Podge um, and I just have a paintbrush also pick this up from the works they have Gorgeous brushes too. I shouldn't really be using this one, but the other one that I use, I can't find it. <laughs> they sell these in the works. Um, you get three for a pound, and there are three different sizes. This is the biggest out of them. I should have showed them in my haul. I'll show them next time. So all you do is take in some of your Mod Podge. You cover the area that where you're going to start. Generous layer, doesn't have to be sopping wet though. And then I like to coat the back of the piece of scrapbook paper that I'm working on and you lay it down. Now this bit doesn't have to be perfect and that's what I love about this technique. You just go along and stick. And I like to go over as I'm working. Some people stick everything down and then go over. 
but I like to go over as I'm working and then you see here it can go in those little nooks and crannies And just make sure, I hope you can see this bit here. So you see I have a gap here between these two pieces of paper. You don't want to just stick that there. Overlap it. Oops. So cover the seam that you've just worked on basically. Push it down with your fingers and continue the pattern. And actually, because of the pattern that was on this paper, almost kind of um, inky design, almost looks like it's been spattered, you kind of can't see the lines where they merge because the pattern is so... Put this here. So again, it is a little bit of a labour of love but I find this technique I really adore decoupage it's so therapeutic I don't know why um, you can stick the telly on and do this I often just play some music and I just go for it so as you can see that this is all you do stick down each piece layer of your glue first Layer the back of your piece of scrapbook paper or tissue paper. Tissue paper, I'll be honest, I haven't worked with yet. Um, it's a lot more delicate. I find with scrapbook paper, because it's quite, it's a little bit thicker, it's a lot more forgiving. So like how I pulled up that section and moved it, with tissue paper you can't do that, you risk tearing it. I'll show you this side. and just mold the paper around, you know, corners and things. You could cut that bit off or I could actually tear it and mold around the edge of that. So that is our top piece done, it's a bit lifting up, but you can see the technique that I'm showing you. So all our pieces are just stuck down and then you'd finish the entire piece. You would let that, um, this first lot dry and then you could go over the whole piece. If you've missed any pieces, sections, that's a time to go in again with little bits and then one final coat of the Mod Podge. And because that actually has um, a, it's like a sealant as well, it's, that's your project, project, sorry, finish. And then once it's all dry, it will look like this. And you'll see it's quite hard wearing because of the finish inside Mod Podge. And so that is the technique, guys. Um, these ones I created, if you were following me on Instagram, you would have seen my post on these sorry this video is late but this is another birdhouse that I picked up from Poundland and I just painted it in this gorgeous teal color this was a sample pot again from Wilco and then using this paper I can find it this gorgeous paper was from this book called wildflowers and I think, um, I don't know if 
I have a sheet left. Oh yeah, here we go. Just whiz past it. I use this sheet here to go around the back of the house. And then I left the front and the roof so that you could see the colour. I thought that this pattern is quite busy and that just looks gorgeous. But obviously you could go in further with some more. Maybe take a piece section out and cover it. But that was that one. And then I also did this memories box. Um, Poundland fans will probably maybe recognise this. This was the memories box that was on sale in Poundland for Mother's Day. And for this one, I used the out of this one, the vintage love one. And hopefully there's a sheet to show you, I'm not sure. No, unfortunately I don't have that sheet to show you, but it's here, if you can see. So I just took I think this was one whole sheet and I had a strip maybe left and then took the strips around the sides and the back and then inside I've covered all of it with first of all I painted it pink I should say then I added my paper and then inside I had this piece of lace in my stash so I stuck that in to line my box and that is that finished piece so that is how you decoupage with scrapbook paper available from the works if you like this video please give it a big fat thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye loves